Okay, guys, so we still have three of these upper deck packs, and we're going to be doing the same thing as last video. Probably with some more giveaways, I would imagine. I'm gonna go grab scissors because I'm not bothering again. No, I'm just done. I'm done. I'm just gonna cut it from now on. I mean, it's got McDavid on the cover, so obviously he has to be in there somewhere. That's how it works, right? Okay, here we go. I love that for us. I absolutely adore that for this video. Starting off with a goalie will certainly not, certainly, that's a word. Starting off with a goalie will certainly not register a complaint from me. Next, we've got John Moore. Okay, I believe he's a defenseman, right? I have no idea, honestly, but sure. And next up, we have ourselves a Brock Besser. Broccoli, okay, I'm down with that. That's cool. I see kind of like a, a cool looking card back there somewhere. So that's gonna be, oh, oh boy. Is it one of those like dazzling cards? Anyway, we got Tucky, Alex Tuck. I'm happy with that one. And we get ourselves, oh my word, a Dazzler's Rasmus Dahlin. That is so sick. I was gonna say X-Tech probably mad jealous right now, but one, he's definitely not watching this, and two, probably has one, honestly. Wow, that is complete fire. I'm very happy with that. Okay, Rasmus Dahlin. We got ourselves a Brandon Carlo. All right, keep going here. Oh, wow, that's huge. I suppose by my typical rule, we would now obtain Pasta and Ovechkin. Team is already looking way better than our previous team. We also get a Tanner Pearson, I believe. Yeah, that's the last card. So there we go. So these are the two highlights from that pack, no doubt. Wow, okay. We're one pack in and I'm already thinking we're gonna win the Stanley Cup here. I ordered some top loaders on Amazon, so I really need those to come in so I can get that damn Dalin card in one of them. Actually, I might have some, like just one, that might have some Yu-Gi-Oh cards in it, so maybe I'll just take out the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and put in the Dahlin. Okay, another defenseman, Victor Hedman, good stuff. We also get ourselves a Bobby Ryan. That's awesome, okay. Let's go Bobby. Very happy with, you know, I guess his return last season and just how he overcame things, so happy for you, Bobby. We also get a Nate Mack. Yeah, this team's gonna be absolutely disgusting. Holy smokes. All right, Nate Mack. We get, oh, that is sick. I really like that card. An upper deck portraits, Tyler Bertuzzi. Front tooth missing and all. All right, let's keep it going here. We get ourselves a Zach Parise. I swear I've seen this exact pose from him before. Or maybe I got this card last video. Maybe, did I? I don't think, maybe. I might have. Anyway, moving forth, we get ourselves an Evgeny Malkin. Yeah, this team's gonna be disgusting. Holy crap. I feel like we're getting way better players this time around. We get ourselves a Dougie Hamilton. Is that the last card? No, there's one more. Another great defenseman there. And we get ourselves a Boone Jenner. Beautiful. So this Bertuzzi card, definitely the highlight of that pack. There you go, is what the back looks like. Oh, that's a very cool looking back. That is sweet. I also forgot to show you the back of these cards. So there you go, there's the Darlene Dazzler's back. And then this is the checklist kind of card. So I doubt this is, you know, the trios in the Tim Hortons packs were kind of worth something, I think. These probably definitely not, but you know, either way. Still, there you go. Our final pack, so far it's looking like we're gonna have a duster of a second goaltender, but we've got Mark Edward Vlasic. So there we go, there's another defenseman for this team. How many do we have? I feel like last time I overthought it. We only ended up having seven. Probably the same thing this time around. I'm probably way overthinking it. Okay, next up we have ourselves a Patrice Bergeron. Yeah, Mitch is gonna be a big fan of this. Lots of Boston players coming in. We got Bergeron, we got the Pasta, we got Carlo. Got John Moore. I don't even know if John Moore or Carlo are even still there. But anyway, I know Patrice and Pasta sure are. And then we get ourselves a checklist, Panarin and McKinnon. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm pretty positive we already pulled a Nate Mack, so I guess we get Panarin. But this is basically... Oh, no! I don't know. Did you guys see it? I didn't see it. But anyway, we get Tyler Myers. Okay. Next is going to be a Young Guns Morgan Geeky. Not sure I'm familiar with the name. Oh, damn. He played two games with the Hurricanes in the 1920 season and put up four points in two games. Had two PIMS and was a plus three. Good stuff. He also had 53, 55, sorry, games with the Checkers and 42 points. boy, Morgan. 67th overall, round three, 2017 NHL entry draft. All right, neat. So moving on, we get ourselves a Ryan Suter, another defenseman. Our defense is going to be just completely stacked. Well, I mean, so is our offense, really. We do get a Charlie McAvoy this time. 
I should have said Charlie Coyle to just add to the whatever. Anyway, we get Charlie McAvoy this time. We get ourselves a Brandon Sod, and that's the last card. Okay, so there we go. And yeah, I guess the highlight of this one would be Mr. Morgan Geeky over here. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I mean, I feel like that's the only way it could be pronounced. So just once again, looking back at our three best pulls here, we got the Rossmus Dahlin Dazzlers. We get ourselves the Upper Deck Portraits, Tyler Bertuzzi. And then we got our Young Guns, Morgan Geeky. So there we go. Let's go put this team together and let's watch them wipe the NHL. Okay, so these are the default colors this time. Like I said, I pretty much always just rock the default colors and then I pick a logo and based off that, I'll go with a team name. So let's go to the custom logos, I suppose. Also, I got rid of that like big pop filter thing. Hopefully this thing does the job, but yeah, the other one got in the way a lot. It was just massive and I would hit it all the time, especially when I was doing these pack videos. So yeah, I don't know. It's hopefully this works good, but I think it should. I feel like a lot of people get these kind of, you know, over the mic cover things instead of the round pop filters, but who knows? We're gonna find out. I'm good with the whales. <laughs> sure, why not? It wouldn't be the whalers. I'm gonna make it just the whales, but uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty neat. Let's go with Newfoundland this time. I don't know. I always, even though, you know, it's Canada, I should know this. I still don't know whether it's Newfoundland or Newfoundland. I've always just called it Newfoundland, but Newfoundland makes more sense when you look at how it's spelled. Man, I want to get a PS5 just because this, I don't even know why I bother doing this because I never end up using the team again, but it's just basically the default. So I just always go here and do, I, I don't know. But the menus in this game genuinely feel less responsive than NHL 20. And I, I don't, that's impressive to me. I also just realized you guys could kind of see the light I was using to get rid of the hockey card. Well, yeah, shadow. So <laughs> I guess that's going to be there. It kind of blends in with the, well, I don't know. It probably won't when I actually put it in the editing, the editing software. Why do I say it like that? Well, how else are you supposed to say it though? When I put it into my, uh, yeah, you know what? I guess that's the only way to really say it. My editing program. Well, not opening any more hockey cards, so don't need that any longer. All right, I basically just went classic. I chose number 20 for the jersey, and then I just went to number 20 for pants and number 20 for socks. So I can't even see the damn name. The light's still in the way. I need to get rid of you. Okay, time to grab these players here. There's our boy Morgan, 73 overall. Definitely not cracking the lineup. I wouldn't think anyway, who knows? Okay, time to do something big here. So we got Bergeron, we got Pasta, and we've got McAvoy. So lots, and I think we also had, who were the other two? We had a couple more. I know Carlo was one and so was Moore. There we go. I legit had no idea that Sod was on the Avalanche, so I learned something in today's video. Very educational. I think Bobby Ryan signed with Detroit or something. Yeah, there he is, okay. This team is so much better than our previous team. The only downfall is we don't have a backup goalie, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to go to free agents and basically just add a 70 overall goalie or something along those lines. There, we get Jeff Glass, fire. We're only 51 million over the cap, not bad. <laughs> We've got 15 forwards, nine defense, and yeah, we got the one goalie, but obviously we have to have two. All right, the Newfoundland or Newfoundland. <laughs> I gotta ask, there's a streamer, his name is uh, Newfy Bullet. It's been kind of, you know, going in and out of there every now and again, and we're probably gonna make a video in the near future, but uh, yeah, maybe I should ask him. In the meantime, I'm gonna get rid of this damn light and pick up that upper deck, I guess, pack that I just tossed on the ground. Which team will we sub out? It's going to be the Dallas Stars. Pretty sure we didn't even pull a single card from them, so that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I should honestly take out Boston because <laughs> we got basically half their team anyway. Owner mode, no thank you. Head coach edit lines, also no thank you. Player morale, sure, but I'm going to turn off meetings because they be hella annoying. I'm also going to turn off the salary cap because I don't think it made that much of a difference last time, but uh, maybe it did. Who knows? Blockbuster trade alerts, I'll leave it on, but apparently I don't get them anymore anyway, so yeah. Maybe EA took my advice- well, no they didn't because there was a trade last time that wasn't like super blockbuster that they showed me, but yeah. Retired jerseys, I'll leave on. Morale meetings, no. Waiver notifications, no thank you. Trade offer notifications, that's gonna get annoying real quick. And yeah, let me know if a coach gets canned. Oh my word. Ovechkin, McKinnon, and Pasta get a plus three. Yeah, okay. We got Besser, Malkin, and Panarin, Bertuzzi, Percheron, Pearson, Tuck, Jenner, Sod. What an unbelievable team. On defense, we've got Hedman and McAvoy with a plus three, Hamilton and Suter, and then Darlene and Myers. I want to see if we can try to get like a plus five somehow. I want to say probably not, but wouldn't that be something? Ooh, 
All right, yes, please. I will definitely take that. And then in net, we got Shesterkin backed up by Jeff Glass. So yeah, great starter, backup, questionable. But our defense and offense really could kind of make up for that. So I'm gonna say that Ovechkin gets the most points on our team with 95. <laughs> he might even have more than that, we'll see. And I'm gonna predict that we get 51 wins. So let's see what happens. That's not his real name. You've got to be kidding me. They're not even trying anymore. Moises McMuffin. Stop it. This is a legitimate sentence. The Nashville Predators have fired head coach Moises McMuffin. Thank you, EA. I would also love to know how the hell our team is only 4-3-0. I'm assuming you know, it's a simulation. Engine. We're probably going to take off eventually or... Our pants. We're gonna find out. Okay, yeah, so we had a bit of a rocky start, but we are certainly pulling away now. The Boston Bruins have fired head coach Pierre Davos. Clearly, they're past an act. Past an act. Why do I... Oh, why? Why can I not talk? Can someone please explain to me why I can't talk? Clearly, our Pasternak, Bergeron, Moore, McAvoy, and Carlo are doing better than Pierre's over there. So they canned him. Still not a single blockbuster trade. I'm just going to say we're a seller, but I'm going to continue. It's got to be at least one trade. Bufflin heading back to Winnipeg. I severely doubt that. In exchange for a first and Hainala. So, yeah. I, I, I don't think that would happen. Regular season complete. Our last game was against the Minnesota Wild. We beat them 4-1, and now we're going to be playing them in the first round here. But let's go check out some other stuff, such as the points and... I mean that in terms of both players and teams. So we ended up with 53 wins on the year, which is good enough for first in the central, probably a president's trophy. Yes, sir. I was wrong with the Ovechkin prediction with 95, I think I said, points. He ended up with 84, but Nate Mack had 92, Malkin had 90, Bergeron had 76. Wasn't he on the third line? Then we got Pasta, Panarin, Hedman with 59, Besser 56. We got Bertuzzi with 45, McAvoy's up there. Rosmus Dahlin, 29, but he was on the third pair. Wow. Um, dash 20, dash 19, dash 18. Fourth line did not click. Our goalies, we've got a 44, 19, and 5 record out of Shesterkin with six shutouts, a 905, 264. Jeff Glass, 9, 5, and 1. 894, 258, and no shutouts. Okay, Igor actually had the most wins. Well, kind of tied with Philip Grubauer here, but... Grubauer played 76 games, and Igor only played 68, so yeah, not bad. Wow, are you kidding me? Nate Mack on the Colorado Avalanche is going to be the Art Ross winner. Rantanen with 107, Drysaddle 100, McDavid 95, Marner 95, other Ovechkin 93, and then there's our McKinnon, and then there's our Malkin. Okay, well let's just breeze past these playoffs here and see how the Newfoundland Whalers do. Pretty good so far. Can we beat the Minnesota Wild? We're going to get first rounded, aren't we? I could totally see that happening. Here we go. Yep. Oh, oh my. I love this game. It's my favorite thing. Just to throw it in our face. The other Nate McKinnon's going to win. Yeah, of course he is. Of course. And he was in the finals against Rasmus Dahlin. Malkin put up six points in our five playoff games. So at least he was pulling his weight. But let's check out the awards here. So we've got Colorado. And then we won the Presidents, but Colorado there. And the Prince of Wales goes to the Buffalo Sabres. Individual trophies, the Art Ross goes to McKinnon. We've got the Hart also going to McKinnon. James Norris goes to ours, Victor Hedman. Love to see it. Okay. Nate Mack also wins the Lady Bing. Calder goes to Laugh. Holy crap. Nate Mack winning the Con Smythe. Vesna goes to Hellebuck. So does the Jennings. The Bill Masterton goes to Hamannick. We've got Poirier. With the Jack Adams, Kopitar with the Selkie, Ted Lindsay goes to McKinnon, and the Maurice Rocky Richard goes to Ovechkin on the Washington Capitals, not our Ovechkin. Here is the playoff tree. That is how things went down. If I do end up doing a giveaway again for some more cards, that link will be down below. And yeah, I guess I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like. Also, click that subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated. And yeah, I guess I'll... See you guys in the very near future.